Time now for News Extra on KNEB. It's brought to you by First State Bank. And time for News Extra. Here's Kevin Mooney. Thank you, Dennis. Good morning, everyone. Bob Kinsey is here today as our guest on News Extra. We're going to talk about driver's education. He is the new driver's education instructor up at WNCC. You've, uh, I know you've been talking to me. You've, you've said, you, how many courses did you take? I took about a year's worth, didn't Yeah, you? four courses are required to get the, the uh, certification from the University of Nebraska at Kearney. Yep. Yes. Several trips to Kearney. Several trips to Kearney. Yep. So uh, he's ready to go to teach this course. And uh, uh, tell us what it enta- entails. This is for high school students ages 14 to 17, right? Yes. Uh, WNCC is a source of driver education in West Nebraska. Right now there's uh, Ron Howard and myself. For a long time it was just Ron doing the instruction. So we're trying to expand a little bit and offer some additional courses. And, you know, there's two options to get your driver's license. You can either take a approved driver safety course like the one that we will be teaching or you can go through a process where a parent uh, follows a a syllabus of 50 hours of instruction that's provided by the Nebraska Department of Motor Vehicles and if a student successfully completes the class that we provide they don't have to take the written exam or the driver's exam and plus most insurance companies still offer a savings plus it just addresses all the issues that a, a new driver needs to understand uh, drive safely. Uh, you know, it's the number one cause of teen deaths in the United States is motor vehicle accidents. You mentioned Ron Howard is doing this with you. I didn't realize Opie was here to, to do the class with you, but uh, it sounds like maybe he is. No, Ron's so, been teaching for years. Yeah, yeah, driver's ed. All right. I know he gets probably uh, kidded about that name all the time. Anyway, uh, all right. Talk about the cost. And you have courses beginning starting in February, right? Yes, the spring session will start February 2nd. Uh, there's 10 hours of classroom required is the first part. And at the same time, we'll start driving. And there's five hours of driving required, which covers residential, business area, highway, express, and county road driving. Okay. And the cost is $195, and it will begin February 2nd. All right, and then you have more classes coming up in the, later on in the spring and even coming up in the fall, right? Yes, Ron will be teaching a class in uh, May right after school gets out, and then our goal is also to offer one in May up in the Alliance area since we now have two instructors at the college. All right, so uh, you have 10 hours of classroom instruction, five hours of driving, and, and if you take this, if you do go through the whole thing, you get your certificate, you don't have to go through much of anything when you get your license if you're if you're 15 right that's right it you can actually uh, you know go online to get your driver's license as your pop uh, restricted driver's license for a teenager all right uh, we'll talk more about this right after this break. Hey, Nebraska, Dave Ramsey here. When I get asked where you should keep your money, for me, it's a no-brainer. Locally owned community banks like First State Bank in Scotts Bluff and Garing. They offer all the bells and whistles of the big banks, but with free checking that includes free e-statements, free online banking, and no charge first mobile banking. Free ATM transactions nationwide and no monthly maintenance fees. First State Bank. Scott's Bluff and Garing, member FDIC. All right, we are back on News Extra. Bob Kinsey is here, WNCC driving instructor. His first uh, class is coming up on February 2nd of next year. The cost, $195. Now, this is for students ages 14 to 17. And uh, you're going to be uh, bringing forms to the high schools here, what, today, this week, right? Correct. They will be dropped off at all the, sc- the high schools in Scottsbluff County the next day or so. And right. be available generally through the guidance counselor or the office will be able to direct you where to get the forms. Or you can call the college. Yeah. Okay. So uh, it's 10 hours of classroom instruction, five hours of driving under a, under a supervisor. What type of things uh, do you teach in that classroom instruction? Maybe uh, having everybody use a left-hand turn signal would be a one good thing, right? Right. Using both left and right-hand turn signals would be good, yes. And uh, how to make proper turns, uh, occupants protection, uh, crash dynamic, seat belts, uh, railroad crossing safety, uh, traffic flow rests, uh, how to visually scan, detect, and perceive risks, 
uh, driving environments, urban areas, rural areas, uh, construction zones, uh, fact is, factors that affect a performance risk, attitude and emotion, uh, cell phones and texting, which right now is a major res- uh, problem. And uh, texting is now becoming uh, close to being uh, one of the major factors in serious accidents. It's always been alcohol in the past, but now uh, texting is right up there. So we try to actually, in a controlled environment, have students uh, – do some texting in a way that we have uh, control in like a parking lot or something and through some cones or something to show that you can't keep focused on the road when you're trying to do two things at once, which is unique that we don't have here, but part of the training at the University of Nebraska Safety Center at Kearney is they have uh, stimul- simulators. So you can actually put a student on a simulator and tell him to try texting his phone and and drive the simulator and it's it, they're off the road within about a minute before they lose control of their vehicle yeah. so it's a good lesson for the students and gives them the aware, awareness of how dangerous that is yeah yeah without question and uh we got about 30 seconds left uh, one of the, so basically cost is 195 uh just to, if ha- anybody has any questions just uh call the college or maybe call their guidance counselor at the high correct, school right correct. yeah okay all right, so make sure you get into that, especially if you're 14 to 17 and you need to take a driver's education course. Make sure you look for one of those forms at your high school or call the college, and uh, Bob will start his classes on February 2nd. All right, thanks Thank for you, stopping Kevin. by. You bet. Okay. Thanks, guys.